Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and you're looking at a simulation that gives you evidence for the existence of Planet 9 that we still haven't found. But in today's video, I wanted to also help you visualize the evidence for Planet 10 that was recently suggested by a few scientists out there. So let's play around in Universe Sandbox and discover why they think that Planet 10 also exists. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now for this simulation, we're actually going to be going into something completely new and making one from scratch. So I'm going to actually just take like a regular sun in the middle here. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically simulate the existence of Kuiper's belt, but we're going to build it a little bit closer to the sun. So it's actually, uh, so it has effects that happen a lot faster than usual. Because if I, if I were to make an actual Kuiper's belt, I would have to wait like billions of years real time for these effects to appear. So let's create a few rings here. And I'm going to make them maybe slightly lighter color so they're a little bit easier to see. And they're going to be basically spinning around the sun. Let's maybe make a few, a few more just to, it's a little bit easier to visualize. So imagine this is the Kuiper's belt. This is where we have our asteroids. Uh, basically this is at a distance just after Pluto uh, just over 40 astronomical units or so, and it extends to several hundred astronomical units. This is where Sedna is, this is where Eris is, and this is where maybe just maybe Planet 9 is as well. Now one thing about this particular ring I've just created is that it's currently completely flat. It actually is very, very, very flat in relation to the Sun's uh, spin, and basically it kind of represents a perfect theoretical solar system. Uh, now, unfortunately, things don't really work that way in real life, so we're gonna in simulate this a little bit better when we add a planet. So right now it's basically kind of just, you know, things are spinning around the sun, they're going to settle in a few seconds, and they're going to be doing this pretty much for as long as we have the simulation. Now, what if I add a planet? So now the suggestion about Planet 10 is that it's actually about Mars-sized. It's a uh, mass of Mars, and it's located about f maybe 50 to 80 astronomical units away from the Sun, but we're going to place it right here where Earth would be. And we're going to place it at a slight inclination, so this way. Now we're also going to rename it Planet 10, and we're going to just watch what happens. Now, even if we watch this for a few hours, real time, things will not happen very fast. So I'm going to be watching it from this angle right here. You'll start maybe after a few hours noticing things changing a little bit, but it will be quite a while before this happens. It will, as a matter of fact, take uh, possibly even several years real time for us to notice the effects. So we're going to actually cheat a little bit. We're going to change our planet 10 just to um, accentuate, just to increase the effects here and to help us visualize things better. But um, right now, there's really nothing happening. The planet 10 is kind of orbiting there. The, my asteroids in Kuiper's belt are orbiting as well, but they're not affected by planet 10. Or they are, but just not significantly enough. To increase the significance, I'm going to click on my planet 10. And we're actually going to change its mass. Let's make it like, I don't know, half a Jupiter. In other words, it's going to be approximately 180 masses of our Earth, or about 2,000 times the mass of Mars. So the mass of this planet has now increased significantly. It's now a lot more massive and will now exert a lot more effects on the system. So now let's run this a little bit longer and we're still going to be looking at it from this angle right here. And let's see what happens. So I'm gonna actually accelerate this a little bit. And you'll notice that some rocks, some asteroids, will start kind of diverging from their actual orbit. There's a few, like, right, there's one right there that's already orbiting a little bit differently from before. This four, 400 gram rock has already changed its um, inclination to the plane of orbit. And as I keep doing this, as I keep running the simulation, you'll notice that more and more of them start doing the same. And so here, just to help you see this even better, 
let's maybe remove the trails and just even actually the labels as well and just watch the blue uh, blue rocks blue asteroids watch how they actually start warping around the sun so there's a bit of a warp happening here there's a bit of a warp happening here and as I increase time the warp increases as well now this warp is formed by the planet that's orbiting in this very specific region at about one something astronomical units um, this is in our simulation in the real life simulation this would be maybe 50 to 80 astronomical units and so what the scientists dis discovered is that there seems to be a bit of a increase in inclination for some of the objects in Kuiper's belt right here at a distance of 40 to uh, 50 astronomical units away from the sun and then here there is really nothing here there's really nothing but in this particular region there's something and obviously the planet is not as massive as the one we just placed here but it might be there and so let's just actually look around from the other angle here this is what this warp looks like so you can kind of see there's this little pancake that's forming that's more inclined than it used to be so you can kind of see it better here so there's that inclination now the inclination they discovered is about 13 degrees higher than it should be statistically and they're saying that there's a bit, about 97 percent chance that this is some from some some kind of an object that's not planet nine that would that, that would be way way too far away it's another object somewhere in that region and they're saying there's only a three percent chance that it's completely by chance so that's a pretty low chance if you ask me but it's still possible that maybe it's just completely by chance statistically and so now you can kind of see how it totally warped space around it and this is because we have this relatively massive object named planet 10 orbiting right there so our planet 10 has totally warped this asteroid belt that we've created and specifically at this distance right here so there's there's that region where it orbits that it, where, it, where it created this warp everything else though this this is not as affected by it and this is really what kind of set uh, those scientists off on writing the paper and suggesting that there is actually probably yet another planet hiding in our solar system and I think this is a pretty sort of solid visualization of what uh, they are talking about in their paper, especially if you decide to read it and realize it was really complex and involved a lot of formulas and numbers. So this is hopefully helpful to those of you who wanted to know more about this new Planet 10. And hopefully now you kind of understand what they're talking about. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to do in this video. And hopefully you learned something from it. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to watch the other video about Planet 10 and come back here tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye. And I can't help but explode Planet 10 and of course a little sun creating this beautiful blue system with a bunch of fragments flying everywhere. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.